Welcome to How to Solve Ken Ken. If you watched my first video, you saw a four by four solved. If you saw my second video, you saw a five by five getting solved. And in this one, we're jumping all the way up to a seven by seven with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. This would be considered a very hard puzzle in the Ken Ken world. So it's going to take some time. Roll up your sleeves, get a pen and paper so you can do some math. And I also suggest you write across the top of that piece of paper the numbers one through seven, because sometimes staring at the numbers helps you in your head do all the math. The two things I tend to look for are big numbers that require a lot of numbers to, to come to it, which is this 432. So you have to multiply four numbers, one, two, three, four, that's somehow going to come up to 32. And I like to do the math right away to figure out what the four numbers could be. Um, and the thing about uh, this L-shaped one that in this cage is that you have to have one through seven in rows and one through seven in columns, but in this particular case, you can have a number repeated that would be here and here or here and here. And since we have to get all the way up to 432, my guess is these could be really high numbers like seven and seven and six and five. And the first thing I usually do, even before I start a puzzle, is I take a big number like this that I don't know off the top of my head, and I break it down to figure out how do I get four digits, in this case between one and seven, that equal that, and just do the math even before I start. So in this particular case, I've determined already what the four digits are, and I've got it on my notepad here, and, but I don't know where they go. I know that there's a three, a four, a six, and a six. Now, I don't know where any of these go, but I do know that if there's two sixes, it's either gotta be a six here and a six here, or a six here and a six here, because they can't, two sixes can't be in the same row and column. So I know that that is a six. What we're going to do is we're gonna actually just start, and we're gonna put some in. We know that this is a three, four, six in, in this column here. And to be three, four, and six, this is going to have to be a seven and a one because it's six minus something. And that's going to only leave the numbers two or five here. So this could be something like a two and a five to make 10 or a five and a two, but it can't be, but to make a 20, this is gonna have to be a four and a five. So therefore let's put that five there. You understand what I'm saying? We, uh, we know that a six, four, and a three is here. We know that a seven, one is here. It only leaves us two and five, but there's no way to put a two here, multiply it something, get 20. This has to be a four and a five. It's the only two ways. And if we know a four has to come in here. And then if you know again that this is a, a, a three, a four, and a six somewhere, and you know this is a seven and a one somewhere, then this also has to be a two and two times something to make 10 is a five. So that's gonna put the five there. So now let's come back here and say, we know that we're going to have a four, five, six. We know this is a seven or two. So the only remaining numbers um, uh, is going to be a one or a three um, in these two things. So let's look at this, a one or a three. A one plus a five would be a six here. Uh, if this was a three, then it would be three plus three, but that can't be because you can't have two threes in the same row. So that means that's going to be a one and that's going to be a five, which is going to make this some uh, the only other options. We know that's a, a seven and a two somewhere. That's going to make that a three. And so it could be three minus one, and that could be a two or it could be four minus three, and that's a one. But at least we're getting this part solved. Six minus something. Well, the only option again is seven and one, but there's a one here. So therefore we're gonna have to put the one down here and the seven here. Something divided by something is three. Well, there's two options. There's either six divided by two is three or three divided by one is three. But there's a one there, so we, have, so we know that this is gonna be a six and a two. So since we know one, a two, we don't know where the three and four is in this line, but we know that there's a six, a five, and a seven. This has got to be a four or a three, and this has got to be a four and a three. We can just put something in. So let's put in a three, 
and let's put in a four, but I'm gonna make a note that these are guesses on the side, okay? And we know that this is a six and a two somewhere. I think I'm gonna go uh, ahead and just fill in the blanks. I know it's six has to be either here or here. Let's put the six here, and we know one of these is a three and a four. I'll put the three here, and I'll put the four here. If it doesn't work, I have to remember that these are guesses, and these are guesses. Let's try to then, uh, we know that this is a seven and a one, which leaves us a three and a five, a three and a five either on this side. Let's go ahead and make some other guesses. So if we know this is a three and a five, let's guess a three and a five. So these are guesses, these are guesses, and these are guesses. And what we'll do is let's solve and see if it works for us. So four, three minus one, this can't be a four because there's a three, but it could be three minus two, and I could put a two there. And again, this is a one and a seven. Five minus something to get three, it would be, it would have, would have to be a two, and that works so far. Um, something plus something is five. Well, this could be a one and a four. It could be a three and a two, but the three and two are being used. And a four is there. So let's put a one and then let's put a four. And now if this is the case, this is gonna leave us with a seven or six and a seven or six. Well, that can't work. It can't be six plus six, which is 12 plus three. So therefore that would have to be a seven. And that makes 10 and that would have to be a five, which would make this the remaining missing number, which is a six. So something's time minus something to make two that can't, there's no eight to minus six. So it has to be six minus four. So let's try the four there. So far, these guesses are paying off for us, but we know that this is going to be a six or a seven to make 13. And now that we have a seven here, let's put the seven down here and let's put the six here. So let's look at that in terms of how we would come up with this, because now that we have 12 in this, and this is four, we have to come up with eight here, and we can't use, oh my God, we have a six and a six. So I'm going to then guess that this is the six, and then this is the three. And remember I said I didn't know the order on this? This is why we do that. So this still brings us back to eight. Eight, what plus what equals eight, and it's not using a four, a, a three, four, or six. I guess it could be a seven and a one, because we know it's not the six and a two, and we know it's not the it's not the five and the three. So this could be a seven and a one. So I'm gonna put the one here because I can't put a seven, and I'm gonna put the seven here. So this could be a five and a three here. I was gonna say this is a two, but it can't be because of that. So this would be a five and a three with a five here. Is there any other option of what that could be? No, it's not because a two can't be here, and therefore a two has to be in this row, so two has to be down there, which makes that a five. And to make eight, it's five plus three. So far, so good? Okay, so if we have a nine there, that means, and we have to make, that means these two have to total seven to hit that. So that would be a three and a four, but we can't do that. It could be a five and a two, but we can't do that. So this could be a six and a one. So the one can't go there, so that means the one has to go here, and the six has to go here. So now we're starting to make some progress here. We have one, two, three, the, what the number is missing here is a four. Four minus three, yes, that's one. That's great, now we are missing something here to make this row work, that has to be a two. So now we'll bring it here. What adds to 12, there's two, so these two have to add to 10. Five plus five can't, don't work because they can't be in the same column. So it could be a four and a six, but there's a four and a six here, so you can't put either one there. So it's gonna have to be a seven or a three, and there's a seven in this row. So that would put the seven here, and it would put the three here. Now we can easily finish these two out. One, two, this would have to be a six. And remember six divided by three, and this is missing a three. So, so far so good. I think we're, I think we're doing really well. Now let's come up to this. Something divided by something is three. Well, that again would have to be six divided by two. The six can't be here, but the six could be here and the two could be here. And that does work for this row. Great, we're making some awesome progress here. Remember when I came back here and said, this has to be a seven minus two? Well, now we know with that seven and that two that that's gonna have to be the seven 
and that's going to have to be the two. Now we can come to this row and we can say what's missing. Well, that's a five. Put the five in there. So five divided, 20 divided by five is uh, four. So somewhere something times something is going to have to be four. Well, we're missing a four into one, which makes four, but the four can't go here. So that would have to be a one. And that means that has to be a four. And now we've got everything, but this last one, as we had known before, it's a one and a seven. We know the seven can't go there. That goes there, well, that goes there, and the one has to go there. Ta-da! These are really difficult puzzles. You saw how I had to guess a lot. That's completely normal. I'm making notes on the side on a piece of paper, and I hope this was helpful to you. Please let me know what else you'd like to see. Thank you.